Traveling back through the ages is something we can only do with the guidelines of the Bible and the Sumerian text. It tells us that in the very remote past that the earth was a place where gods coexisted with humans. It is dumbed down in such a way that we almost can't believe it. So we treat it as mythology. But what if it were true, all of it? What if it was all loose interpretations of actual historical events and makes you wonder about the little details they never documented? After all, history is only written by the victors mostly, right? Just wait till you hear this. This brings us to Moses. Who was Moses exactly? And where did he come from? What if we were to tell you that there is a rumor that Moses was actually Akhenaten, the 18th dynastic ruler of ancient Egypt? Now, bear with us for a moment with this till we explain. Moses, as most people know, was hidden away from birth because his bloodline was a danger to the Egyptian establishment at the time. He was educated in such a way that he was seen as a wealthy, high-ranking Egyptian. Now, when we compare the early life of Moses to that of Akhenaten, there are shocking similarities. And get this, when Akhenaten was exiled from Egypt because he believed in the one true God, he became known as Moses. Moses is actually a term which means the pretender to the throne. Because Akhenaten, Moses, was Pharaoh, he was allowed to take people with him to set up his life of exile. So of course he took the Hebrew people with him and set out on the epic 40 year journey till they arrived in the promised land. So the story from the Bible, though loosely translated, is not completely undecipherable. You just need to join the dots in most cases, and this is just one example of that. Moses was actually Akhenaten. Isn't that just astonishing or what? It is not inconceivable to most people to understand that every civilization on earth at this time actually devolved from the ancient Sumerians. This was the place in which people branched out from to go and repopulate the globe. The ancient Egypt we see today was only re-inhabited after the Great Flood and was only possible because the Sumerians, under instruction from Enoch, built a doomsday scenario vault to secure the DNA of most life on the earth at this time. History suggests the Anunnaki knew the flood was coming and did very little to save the population. They were our creators, but it seems that the rogue god Enoch was the one who helped humanity save life. And it also would seem that the Anunnaki were not angered by this, but they were in fact impressed that this was achieved. After their survival, they helped us instead of hindering us in our quest for survival. But as history has unfolded, this has increasingly been watered down from one civilization to the next until the point that we actually struggle to believe the truth. What do you guys think? Is it easy to understand but hard to believe? It's not actually our fault in this day and age that we don't believe. This is mostly the outcome of thousands of years of forgetting knowledge that is essentially in our understanding of the age-old question. Who are we and why are we here? Perhaps the answer is still available today in the ancient mystery schools of Egypt. And if so, do we really want to know the truth? Or do we think the truth is best kept a mystery? Just a thought. Small shockwaves can make huge impacts. Thanks for watching. Part four to follow.